r slash ask reddit male users of reddit what is the most annoying thing about being a guy peeing then shaking it even dabbing the tip with a square of tissue but still dribbling a little piss in my drawers also ass hair try lightly squeezing the last bit out like milking another I could beat my dong against the counter for 10 minutes after peeing and still have that little drip on my underwear. You can squeeze it, shake it, bang it against the wall, but it has to be back in your pants for that last drop to fall. Like trying to get peanut butter out of shag carpet. Buying a bidet changed my life. My bud is Armenian, ass hair is his largest complaint. The way pee sprays in unpredictable directions sometimes. One time my pee hole got blocked somehow I'm the middle and I was peeing in the toilet with a really weak thin stream and it felt like I wasn't relieving myself of pee so I tried to push it out harder. I looked down at my penis for further inspection and realized I had two streams going on. One going in the toilet and one going straight down to the ground. Relatable. Sometimes it's a stray pube cutting your pee stream like a double slit particle experiment. Or sometimes you just busted a nut and your pee hole is still clogged by your cum. Whatever the case, just make sure you pull up the seat, crouch down like you're doing proper form squats, and let it flow. God bless. I hate shaving my face so often. I'd say get one of those home laser things. But apparently they're for every type of hair except male facial hair. Also apparently not for dark skin, duck and racist lasers. I'm not sure if it's just a guy thing, but those weird pants boners, when you sit down in the zipper area folds up and looks like a boner, and stays that way, no matter how much you readjust your pants. That's the first episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Getting very few no compliments from my so, I want to be told nice things about myself too. Bring that up with them. If it's something you would want to change, communication is important, even if it's seemingly a small thing. I agree communication is key in a relationship, the longer you let it bother you the more resentment will build up. Always being expected to make the first move towards the woman. Tough guys always looking for a fight. There's a point in middle school high school where other guys want to beat you up just for existing. And with alcohol, anyone can revert to middle school baldness some can make it work for them but most can't a lot of people can make it work i know a lot of bald people on which it looks good don't be ashamed when the time comes personally i waited too long to join the bald club i should have done it sooner knowing that when i get older i will have a ball sack that resembles two golf balls banging around in an old worn out sock can't wait for that yep but when you're that old you won't give a single duck anymore the fact no matter how hard I try I always catch myself staring at boobs. Happens more often when you're absent minded. Which is the opposite of what society thinks lol. Never being approached by women. I'm sure it also has to do a lot with looks but I can't really change that and multiple back to back rejections make you less interested in trying to initiate. You just feel like a bother at a certain point. People instantly assuming you're a pedophile when you try to talk to younger girls. Like can't I just be nice? Girls aren't judged when they talk to younger guys. I remember coming to a crosswalk and waiting for the lights to change. The little 3, maybe 4 year old girl waved at me. She was right next to me. Holding hands with her mother. I said oh hello. And proceeded to look straight forward after that. Waiting for the lights of course. The looks I got for just that were surprising. Like what do you want me to do? Just ignore this little girl that waved. Shopping for clothes. I've noticed in every clothing store. We have this small corner in the back of the store for our clothes and the rest of the store is 95% female clothing. The stigma that every time I talk to a woman I don't know I automatically want to date them. Like duck maybe I like talking to women because men don't open up about feelings and women actually listen just looking for a friend man. So much of this. I have a girl best friend that I always talk to and go have drinks with. Everyone harasses us with when are you two gonna get together. Makes it super awkward when they realize we both have our own SOS. Expectations of the society. Which will inevitably and conveniently vary based on the circumstances. And more often than not, once fulfilled, you'd still be largely uncredited for. Since that's what men guys are supposed to do. 
trying to shave those damn hairs on your Adam's apple without slicing your throat open. When it gets hot out and our ping pong stick to the inside of our leg like tennis balls onto velcro. My godson was getting out of the car one day and kept messing with his junk. I try not to embarrass kids but after the fourth reach down after we started walking I asked. Everything okay? He nods. Couple steps later he reaches for it again. He's 5 at the time and hadn't had an accident in a while but it had been a long drive so I ask. You sure? You need to use the bathroom? He stops. Sighs. Does a little more maneuvering and then says. Human bumpaker. Sometimes your pee pee gets stuck to your leg. Good to know. The human bumblecker bit really threw me off cause I thought it was actually part of his sentence and had a hidden meaning or something. Honestly, I think the most annoying thing is the competitiveness of other males. Especially when it comes to women. I've been out with GFS and some dude will come up and blatantly start hitting on her. We'd make it apparent that we're together and then the ridicule starts. You're with this guy? I bet he really sucks at. I could be better than him. That alpha male shit bugs the hell out of me. When I was in college UK, so around the ages 16-17, I had a guy into my GF at the time. He was in one of her classes that I wasn't in. And he said to her, the thing about your BF is, he's like a Fiat Punto. He's reliable, but that's about it. I'm like a Ferrari. She told me right after the class, and I didn't really care. I trusted her and all. But I had a buddy at the time who drove a Fiat Punto. I think he was more pissed than I was. Being horny practically all the time, it affects the way I think and behave. Sometimes I want to be productive and focus on other things but my brain is having none of it. It's like a generalized anxiety, but on my dong. Shrinkage is a real thing. I've been in the pool and go home to find my shriveled up dong clinging to my balls like a baby to a mother's teat. I'd prefer if that was the normal state, retracting when not in use would keep things more comfortable. The grower versus shower debate. Society's view of what's masculine when you're a straight small male that doesn't try to be super masculine. Most of my friends have always been girls women because for some reason I've just always gotten along better with them than men. But since I'm not stereotypically or overtly masculine a lot of the time I get hit with the Wait, you're not gay, but you're so nice. It really concerns me that they don't expect straight guys to act like a normal person around them. Everything in your life is a competition. Every. Ducking. Thing. Are you challenging me? Are you threatening me? You're expected to just deal with a lot of things that girls would get help with. Singleness. Wanting something that's out of my reach. Companionship. Life would be so much easier if I simply did not want a girlfriend. It's not like women are to blame. I don't resent anyone other than myself for it, but I hate that I want something that is out of my ability to control. It's inconvenient and causes a lot of suffering. Dealing with other men. The number of testosterone poisoned. Porcelain figurine fragile ego having bastards seems endless. Jesus H. Christ, especially true amongst the rich businessmen crowd. I have had to deal with too many a many trumps. They think their shit doesn't stink and are scared shitless of answering any critical email in written form. I have made a habit of following up every important telephone call with a short protocol paired with a reading confirmation and delivery confirmation. But it really still is soul sucking. Being treated like a criminal until proven otherwise. I am a female and absolutely despise this. It has directly led to too few male elementary teachers. Which is a shame. So many kids without a good male role model would benefit from having a male teacher but are denied because of this idiocy. Also, I have family that refuse to let any male except dad change the baby girl's diapers. If you can't trust your own father and brothers with your infant daughters, who are you? Also, no, none of them are wapedus, nor ever gave any reason to suspect. Also, anyone was allowed to change the boy's diapers. Double standard much? Sorry for the rant. This one gets me so worked up. Many parents will yank their kids out of daycare if they hire a male employee, no matter how needed or appropriate. Absent minded dong touching. I'll be fondling myself and not even realize it, and when I do notice I feel like a piece of shit. One time when I woke up in the morning, I was confused because it felt like someone was holding my dong. After I fully woke up, I realized it was just me. 
Forever alone. Girls do it too. Crotch is warm and just a comfortable place to rest your hand. Having to make the first move. Living in fear of being labeled as a creep or pervert for trying to talk to a girl. Wow our dongs really run our lives don't they boys? I would say depends on age but for the most part of younger life till 40. Being constantly obsessed with sex and the need to shag. Sometimes you just need a break. Also it's a huge distraction and energy and money grabber. Shaving. No matter how close you shave, you're scratchy. Normally, that's fine. But you really can't get smooth enough for a lady friend. I can do a nice wet shave with 4 passes and my wife will still complain that I'm scratchy. I don't even have a heavy beard. I just have really stiff hair in the goatee area. I even had a barber give me a nice wet shave the other day and he gave up. He criticized me for having bristly hair. It's better if I keep a few days off stubble. That's less scratchy apparently. I know women shave much larger area. I understand. I shave my armpits. Recommend for all men. It's awesome. That lasts for days and is pretty easy. Shaving one's face sucks. It's like shaving a scrub brush. Sexism on both sides. Either women holding double standards. Not all women. Or being ashamed of those males who are sexist. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.